So if we go to the tracking station, a real good way to plan the transfer is if you zoom out and we look, actually Kerbin is approaching a Duna transfer window. Um, so think about this like rendezvousing two spacecraft together, okay? So what do you do when, say you are you have a spacecraft on Kerbin and you want to send it up to the ISS, right? To your space station, right? Not the ISS, right? You go into a lower orbit and then you get a little bit, a little bit below and a little bit behind right? And then you, you do a home and transfer. Well, we can do home and transfers like this on a planetary scale. That's no problem, right? So what you do is if we focus here on the sun, right? Take the distance between Duna and Kerbin's orbit and times that by about two and then go off over here. So it's over here somewhere, right? If we took, if we just made a straight line between Kerbin and Duna, right? And I'll show you guys how to do this today. Just make a straight line and then take that distance and times it by two. And then kind of look at what the closest point to where your mouse cursor is in Kerbin's orbit, right there. There's your transfer window. That's it. It's that simple. That's all you got to do. Just stuff like that. Take that distance between two planets, right? And if you're going down towards the sun to Gilly or every, Eve or around. Moho, you have to basically do the same thing in reverse. So, like, if Kerbin is in the 12 o'clock position here, right? Moho's got to be over here somewhere, right? Because you take the distance between Kerbin and Moho, times that by two, and then find the closest point. Right? Like, basically make triangles here, like this. That does it. That'll work every time. Every single time. Why? Because also, tracking station music is baller. That'll work every time because physics doesn't change in space. Make triangles, yep. 